This is my sticky miso chicken that I put together for Tesco. We're talking tender, crispy skin chicken, beautiful fluffy rice, seasonal greens. Everyone in my family absolutely loves it. It's a really nice way to get more veggies into the kids. You can double it, you can half it, so it's really, really easy to make flexible for your family. So let's get cooking. This has to be one of the easiest recipes to put together. We like that. We're gonna cook it in one tray, so minimal washing up. We like that also. We're gonna go in with the chicken. Kilo of chicken legs, probably the most economical cut of chicken. What do you get? You get beautiful, sweet, tender meat. We're gonna get crispy skin, but don't forget the mega flavor that's gonna come out of the bone here, right? That's gonna make the rice so, so good. Very simply, into here with a little pepper. Two tablespoons of soya sauce. And then an ingredient that you might not know, this is white miso. You can get it in Tesco, right? One tablespoon, nice and heaped, goes in. Classically, miso is used in Japanese cooking. It's fermented, you get extraordinary flavor. So you get depth, you know, if you rub that on a roast lamb, if you do that on chicken, if you do it with beautiful veggies, it's incredible. Use it almost like a seasoning, it's brilliant. So we're gonna add to that just a little bit of vinegar. Just a couple of tablespoons. And then some olive oil, a couple of tablespoons. Just mix everything together and massage that flavor. You can't fake flavor, you have to earn it. So massage all those ingredients into a beautiful marinade. Now, ideally, you would do this the day before, right? And if you left it in the fridge overnight, all of that flavor goes deep into the chicken, but you can also do this straight away and cook straight away if you're busy, so don't stress it. What happens with that miso is it creates this lovely thick marinade that sticks to the chicken. The smell is amazing. This might be one of the best chicken legs you've ever had. It's so good. So, lay that out flat. Now, we whack that straight into the oven for half an hour at 200 degrees Celsius, and then I'll show you what to do next. Half an hour, it smells incredible. Come and have a look. So we have already tender chicken, right? First of all, look in the tray. Those little cork black bits, right? That is flavor. So let me show you how you're gonna make some of the most delicious rice ever. So just get the chicken, take it out. And this is a one tray wonder. And the benefit of doing that is we can amplify flavor. So what I'm gonna do now is a really solid recipe for rice. We're gonna use a regular builder's mug, right? And yes, believe me, this will be enough rice for four people. So we'll go in with some fantastic basmati rice. You can be fairly generous to the top like that if you want. That goes in to the tray. And then two of these of boiling water. The ratio that's always perfect. Now this boiling water will start to dissolve the dark sticky bits to give you all that flavor. The flavor from the bones, the flavor from the soy and the miso. It's gonna be really tasty. Put it on the hob and just bring it up to that boil. Just get the flavors going. And you'll see this almost turn into a stock. Beautiful. So in the one minute that that takes, let's just talk about the broccoli. Take these little fleurettes off like that. Use the knife. I love broccoli. My kids love it. Super healthy. But then often what happens for a lot of people is that goes in the bin, right? I don't want that to happen. I'll trim off the end where it's woody, but then this lovely bit of stalk here, if you just half it and slice it, it's delicious. Don't waste that, it's really, really good. The stalk can go into the rice, beautiful. Nestle back in the chicken, and that will sit on the rice. The rice will cook in and around it, almost hug it. So the great thing about this recipe is you can marinate the chicken in the tray, you can cook the chicken in the tray and serve it in the tray. Any juices that come out, we'll take all of that. Just nestle in the broccoli, and we're gonna pop this back in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, just until the rice is cooked. As Soon as it's cooked, we're done. That chicken will be tender, the skin will be crispy. It's just a really cool, easy, easy dish, and even my fussiest kid loves it. Just a little drizzle of honey over the chicken to give it a lovely little glaze and then a little sprinkling of sesame seeds over the top. Heart healthy fats, taste delicious, and that, my friends, is gonna be gorgeous. So back in the oven, at the bottom of the oven, for about 10 to 15 minutes. 
you'll have perfect chicken, perfect rice, and the broccoli won't be overcooked. It's gonna be delicious. So I wanna get a bit more veg into the story. So, everything in the oven is very comforting. It's crispy skin, it's tender. You know, I wanna get some crunch happening, okay? So what I'm gonna do is peel this cucumber, and then I'm gonna split it lengthwise into quarters. You can remove the kind of seedy part like that, and that's really, really simple. You literally just get the knife and run it simply like that to remove that. That's basically just water. Let's just line it all up, and you can go as fine or chunky as you wish. I think quite fine works really nice. So season it with salt. We'll have a little bit of pepper as well, and then we'll take some Vinegar, any vinegar you like. This is red wine vinegar. And then just dress it like that. And this sprinkled over the finished dish, you know, with that lovely rice and the chicken will be just delicious. Cold and crunchy, we love that. So into a bowl we go. So the simplest cucumber pickle done, chicken done, let's serve up. So, oh, look at that. The chicken is crispy, the sesame seeds have gone golden. I love the way the broccoli is just caught around the edges. And actually, if you leave this tray just for a couple of minutes as everyone comes around the table, just letting it sit allows those sticky bits around the edge just to almost kind of dissolve and go back into the rice dish. Absolutely beautiful dish, so simple, and it smells amazing. Let's just serve up a portion. So this will easily serve four people, if not more. Let's get in there. Look at that lovely chicken leg, shiny and gorgeous. And look how lovely and fluffy and perfect that rice is. But the flavor of this rice is gonna be off the chart. Oh, and that, my friends, is a great little dish. That's not even the full portion, and it feels really substantial, it smells amazing. Let's have a little try. Let's get in there. First of all, let's go rice. Mm. That flavour, chicken stock flavour, the miso, the soy, it's <laughs> so good. So, so good. Let's have a little bit of this chicken. Fingers, sorry, don't care. Oh, so good, look, tender. Just falls off the bone. And then the broccoli is big flavour, absolutely delicious. And then of course that little pickle is always a joy and a contrast. So guys, what are you waiting for? Go on, have a go at that. Sticky miso chicken. One tray, one thing to wash up, bar a few plates. Happy days. Go on, get down to Tesco, get the ingredients and get cooking.